something was going to happen. Something wonderful. G'day fans and welcome to another exciting episode of Talk Nerdy to Me. You know things are going absolutely awesome. Oh, I was about to say not a single person has signed in yet, but now the numbers are starting. <laughs> a couple of people are watching us. I was thinking, it's a Friday night. What on earth are you doing at home? Get out about on the town. But hey, if you're going to join us, then um, at least you can say we got the intro right this time. We didn't balls it up like we did last week. <laughs> How embarrassment. And uh, it's all very, very exciting. Now, but before I get too far into it, Got to welcome my co-host Jeffro and MPS lads. How are we tonight? Oh, all good, dude. How are you? So we're up to our year now. In previous uh, episodes, we've been dealing with years with lots of very exciting and groovy stuff. Lots of movies and TV shows. 2006 seems to have sucked the big one in a lot of ways. Uh, <laughs> for yeah. interesting. So uh, I was actually quite. I don't know what people were doing in 2006, but uh, being creative clearly wasn't one of them. So MPS just. Uh, I'll we'll pass this over to you if you want to run through anything of interest that uh, grabbed you for 2006. All right. 2006, as Dag said, did suck a little bit. There was a lot of not good things happening in the world. So we're going to bypass all of that stuff. Uh, and we're going to go straight to the technology side of things. Uh, back in 2006, go, go figure this one. Let this sink in for a second. The one billionth song is purchased from Apple iTunes in 2006. So imagine what the number is now. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Nintendo releases the Wii in North America. So that was a huge hit, wasn't it? Eh? And yeah. it's just, no, no one uses it at all. But at the time, it was the thing. How many televisions ended up with controllers smashed through the screen? <laughs> <laughs> Probably more than they, than they thought about. Uh, Google purchases YouTube for $1.65 billion. Got to do it like this, dude. Dude, you got to do it that way, man. Do the Doctor Eagle. For one point six five billion dollars. <laughs> uh, and and the the probably the saddest technological. I don't, well, it's not really technological, but it, the saddest thing that happened in two thousand six is Pluto was downgraded from a planet to a dwarf planet by the International mm -hmm. Astronomical Union. Turtle heads. Oh, they know. <laughs> <laughs> So, and they're a union, go figure, you know, uh, international astronomical. That's a, that's a bit of a mouthful if you want to ever try and do a bit of a tongue twister. Golly. Uh, in terms of uh, <laughs> the union downgrades a planet to a dwarf planet, what happened to Pluto? Oh, we just, we made him like a pup again. It was... <laughs> <laughs> All right, some popular musicians of the time were Mariah Carey, Beyonce, uh in excess we're back uh even though i think michael hutchins was still around just i'm gonna say just because he didn't uh he went a little bit around that time uh the pussycat dolls uh and no they didn't look anything like um uh oh where am i going with this one i got no idea uh, hey, wait, move, move along move along <laughs> i'll come back to this one um Nine Inch Nails, Coldplay, uh, Gwen Stefani, uh, Madonna was around, Pink, Bon Jovi. Uh, they were the most uh, popular sort of musicians in the time. Yeah, very good. Cool, uh, Ruzi. Now, Je um, Jeffro, do you want to talk about the English stuff before I get oh, under the music? Absolutely. So, I mean, like um, MPS has said, I mean, it's a little bit thin on the ground, but I managed to find some interesting facts. So, Believe it or not, in 2006, that was the year that the British courts finally ruled in favour of Apple computers. And you know why? 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 I hear you why? say, that's it. Because after uh, nearly 30 years, they won a dispute with Apple Corps, who were the, uh, was the Beatles company. Apple Corps. So uh, <laughs> at long last, that decision was finally ruled in favor of Apple computers that they did not infringe the copyright of Apple Corp. Now, a big one, actually, that I uh, thought NPS might have covered, and I was almost going to leave this one off my list, was uh, that uh, 2006 was the uh, the year of the Bond reboot. So we saw Casino Royale. 
So um, uh, we're, we're going to get to that in the movies, but uh, I wasn't oh, okay. wasn't really technologically uh, one of the, the things. But yeah, you're right. It was. Now on the technological front, uh, I can say that the uh, this was the year that the BBC uh, trialed high definition television. So I mean, when you think about it, they were trialing it back in 2006. I mean, how long have we had high definition sort of really in the works? It hasn't been all that long. So. Uh, they were pretty ahead of the game. Uh, for some of the older folks, may know British television, uh, Top of the Pops. So Top of the Pops was a bit like uh, their version of Our Countdown. So it was a very uh, uh, prestigious music show that launched a lot of careers. Uh, so it began in 64, but it was axed in this year, 2006. So that was a big, um, a big occasion. Uh, this was the year that um, uh, Top Gear presenter Richard Hammond had his serious crash. So he was actually testing a, uh, a jet-powered car at 280 kilometres an hour and um, seriously um, buggered himself up. So, and I don't think that or miles? About it afterwards. Was that, sorry, was that kilometres or miles? I thought it was miles because he broke a land speed record at the time. Yeah, no, it was 280 miles an hour. Uh, okay. Some 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 people reported at 300, but I I read it as 280. So, but yeah, yeah, and he's they uh, they've teased him about it ever since. Uh, yeah. The um, 2006 was also the year that the BBC One aired the 5,000th episode of Neighbours. How how crap is that? <laughs> uh, now. The other big one for 2006 was the um, the fact that it uh, was when Doctor Who um, uh, started up, and this was in its second year. So basically, uh, we saw Billy Piper leave um, after playing her ro uh, role as Rose Tyler, and we saw a Gia Freeman uh, announced as the new companion Martha Jones. So Doctor Who sort of uh, in the beginning. Also, uh, if anyone remembers, and there's probably a few people out there, Life on Mars, that debuted in this year with uh, the fabulous John Sim and Phil Gleisner. So that was actually uh, adapted by the Americans in 2008, but not with the same success as the, uh, the UK one. So um, the storyline is that a car hits him and then he wakes uh, in 1973. And then sort of throughout the... Uh, the the two series that they did, you can never quite figure out whether he was in a dream, whether he time traveled, whether he was in a coma. So it really made it interesting. Uh, this year, 2006, was when the IT crowd uh, began its four season run. So uh, I wasn't a big fan of the IT crowd, but I remember at the time there was a lot of uh, friends and all that that were in the IT industry that sort of really um, dug that one a big, in a big bad way. So. Um, Hello, Glenn Tilly. I remember he was a big fan of the IT crowd. Uh, this year it was when Torchwood debuted on BBC Three. So that was a spin off of uh, Doctor Who because um, Captain Jack Harkness uh, was such a popular character that uh, began on that um, Doctor Who series, played by John Barrowman, that he basically got his own show. So that ran for four seasons. Uh, it started off on BBC Three, and then it sort of gained popularity, went to BBC Two, and then finally, at the end of its run, it ended up on BBC One. So, yay, got a, got a few um, promotions there. Uh, and that is the end of the UK report. It's funny because um, PJ had mentioned about, you know, didn't have a flux capacitor in Hammond's car at 88 miles an hour. I think if you did 288 miles an hour, you just go and you forward in time no matter what, flux of capacitor or not, so you're going that quick. Unbelievable. So uh, there you and, go. And uh, Tracy, yes, you're right. Josie and the Pussycats was what I was trying to think of with the Pussycat dolls. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was actually a good movie. I didn't mind it, uh, actually, Josie and the... Oh, we're talking about the film now, is that right? No. No. no I was the original cartoons, but the film wasn't too bad. No, okay. no. 
Oh, mate, geez, set it down. I'm in, I'm in the middle, definitely, of this uh, particular argument. Actually, which, uh, the, the irony of, of the Josie and the Pussycats film is it actually showed how bands can actually be manufactured, and if they get too big for their boots, they can the producers just push them aside and then just replace them with another band. So uh, there's a little bit of seriousness in there uh, amongst all the comedy. Um, all right, so... 2006 in sci-fi movie world. Now, you know, 95 was awesome and 84 was awesome. 2006 sucked, mate. It was crap. Maybe because I was out partying all the time, I missed some of these. And it's like, I've never heard of most of them. It's like, what is that? It was like really disappointing. So don't ask me why. There's only a couple off the top of my head that I go, oh, yeah, I've seen those and I've heard of them. So Superman Returns came out uh, in 06. And, of course, that's where you say, let's make a new movie and just pretend that Superman 3 and Quest for Peace just didn't happen. We'll just bypass them completely, which you kind of can't do when you sit and think about it because, you know, it's not like you can just wipe, you know, do a mini black thing and just wipe their memories and, like, those films never existed. They did exist. But, anyway, Superman Returns came back and uh, it was actually quite uh, well done, quite enjoyable, even though they changed this, the look of the suit and, uh, and a few other updates. Certainly would never pass as being as good as Superman the movie or Superman 2, but to their credit, they at least tried to continue the story. Uh, and the father becomes a son, like the son becomes a father and all that sort of business, and the connections with uh, jor So, yeah, give them the kudos. It was actually quite good. And I think if I recall, Kevin Spacey was Lex Luthor in that. And uh, I always love the scene when you've got the, the chick with the two dogs, and they go away somewhere, and they come back, and there's only one dog. And it's like, <laughs> like and she goes, wasn't there two dogs? And he's like, anyway, that didn't end well for the second dog. Um and the other thing that came out in 26, uh, 2006 was X-Men The Last Stand, so another X-Men movie. So as I said, they were pumping them out left, right and centre at that point. I don't even remember Last Stand at all, but uh, uh, that was certainly when you hear X-Men movies, you go, oh, okay, remember that one. Now I've got a whole army of them that I've never even heard of. I mean, the girl that leapt through time, you know, maybe she was in Hammond's car doing 288 miles an hour or something. Um, now here's one for you. There are five movies that came out in 2006, uh, all actually more than that, six movies Six, see, six, count them six, that only had one-word titles. Now, off the top of your heads, guys, can you think of any one-word titles? 2006. What? Yeah, 2006. Babble. Babble. Nah, never heard of that. Now, there's six movies that came out, and then I had one word in the name. Just very quickly, can you think of any? Don't look it up. So can you look? Can you think of any? Because I certainly couldn't. Can we give it, get an initial? Yeah, A, S, R, P, I, and Z. Uh, Abyss. No, nah. no, that was the eighties, you idiot. Okay. Yeah. Um, airheads. See, it's funny, isn't it? None of us can think of one off the top of our heads, and I'm giving it. I'm sort of delaying this so people can sort of respond. And if Ange is listening, Ange, don't look it up on Google because that's cheating. So uh, you, should go, you should go. It's a movie. One word. <laughs> sounds sounds like. like. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I've not heard of any of them, and uh, so. Very quickly, so signs. No, that's wrong. Whoever wrote Carol, no, sorry, wrong movie. Uh, so how's this? Got a movie called Altered. Make of that what you will. Sliver. Oh, Renaissance. Sliver, yeah. I know Sliver. Oh, well, there you go then. Renaissance. Cop this one. Paprika. There you go. Yeah, variety is the spice of life. Uh, Idiocracy. And believe it or not, it's a video conferencing product now. Zoom. Freaking hell. Yeah. Actually. Um, Slither is the movie that James Gunn worked with uh, Nathan Fillion. So that was um, basically where that um, friendship came that they ended up sort of uh, working, uh, you know, in Guardians of the Galaxy, having him do a cameo. Okay, very cool. Uh, there's only like five left to go. There's a whole lot of others, but I just didn't list them. Uh, Gam uh, Gamma of the Brave says so a couple of Japanese things going on there. SS Doom Trooper was made for the sci fi channel. Make of that what you will. Uh, Underworld Evolution, it's probably not really sci fi, more horror. I actually did like the first Underworld movie. That was really, really groovy, actually. And then they've just made too many of them. Uh, here's a movie called I'm a Cyborg, and that's okay. There you go. <laughs> I'm a cyborg. Make a song about that, eh? And there you go. Uh, the Covenant, and there was an animated version of Ultimate Avengers. So that's all I have. So, uh, well, in so. terms of other movies, Pan's Labyrinth came out. Yeah, which I still haven't seen, but I've got a copy of on on DVD. Uh, the Prestige with Christian Bale, uh, which was the magical. Um, they were magicians. Uh, Apocalypto, which was Mel Gibson's film. Uh, Borat, which didn't oh, really yeah. float my boat. I never really saw that, but that, that came out then. Uh, <laughs> Casino Royale, as Jeffrey mentioned. Uh, the Queen. Oh, yeah. Flags of Our Fathers, which was the... There were two films of Flags of Our Fathers and the Letters to, to Iwo Jima. They were back-to-back -back 
uh, films, one telling one side of the story, one telling the other side of the story. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Uh, that came out, The Da Vinci Code. The Illusionist, which was the... I don't know, it was a different... I think it was... I thought that was meant to be similar to the, the Christian Bale one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, The Prestige, which was two ma ma magical films. Uh, as Dags mentioned earlier, The Devil Wears Prada, that came out in 2006, which was a good film, Anne Hathaway, uh, which was one of her outstanding performances, actually, in my opinion. Uh, X-Men well, Last Stand, as we mentioned. Yeah, what you uh, think about it? Uh, yeah, Michelle said that Slither was really awesome. So obviously, it's a good film in that case. And apparently, uh, Paprika was anime. So there you go. Um, that'd be one up Jeffro's sort of alley to a large degree. And Pan's Labyrinth apparently is a bit, uh, bit on the nasty yeah. side. So uh, you know, uh, dark fantasy. Mission Impossible. Sorry. Yeah, pa Pan's Labyrinth is more like a dark fantasy. So if you yeah. like things like. Um, uh, Children of the Lost, something or other, and and sort of uh, The Shape of Water, his other movies, then um, you would enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mission Impossible 3 came out. Cars came out. Uh, Rocky Balboa, which was, I think, the, the fourth one in the Rocky series. Uh, right. Happy Feet, which was shot and done in Sydney. Um, Actually, the fourth one of the Rocky series was Rocky 4, funnily enough. So. Sorry, I right, so it was Rocky 5 then. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to think of it in my head. I was going through all of them. <laughs> uh, An Inconvenient Truth, the documentary about uh, the environmental stuff. Uh, and 300 was one oh, of the yeah. last one. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. This is Sparta. Yes. So, yes. One of the... Uh, early, of, sorry, go on. No, no, you go. Uh, one of the early films that was using all green screen digital sets. So, uh, But it wasn't the first. So which was the first that was uh, renowned for using all green screen digital yes. sets? Phantom Menace. Nope. Of course no. not. Nope. Not even close. I'm talking about the entire movie is digital. So, uh, and it's an absolute oh, classic. Um, uh, Sin City. Nope. Eh. No, it's, eh. it's, it's, and I'm oh, going to keep myself um, because I know it and I've got a copy of it. Spy Kids. No. Eh. Error. 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 <laughs> uh, what does it do? Because I can't remember. Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there was that one, and there was the other one, which was uh, I can't think of it, but it was a like a kind of monster movie, yeah, um, yeah. where yeah. everyone was digitized. Angelina Jolie and, and oh, that's you're thinking of um, uh, Beowulf. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, no, that's right. Um, that's before, right. Sorry, Jeffrey, can you move a little bit to your left? You're really bugging me, dude. You've got to be there. We go. Other way. Your other left. Send yourself to the camera. Okay. Everybody's looking at you. They go, why is he off the? <laughs> Move um, to the other, the other way. Move the other way. I haven't got much yeah. room. I haven't got well, much room. Oh, geez. Well, I well, moved slightly. We'll go on the TV shows that, that started in 2006. Uh, Jericho, Life in Mars was mentioned. Heroes, which was mentioned. Um, I'm going to race through all the, all the good ones. Dexter. Dexter started in 2006. Uh, the West Wing finished in 2006. Uh, what else do we have? Actually, Jeff, I'll get you yeah, to no, Which way? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, your other right. Yeah, that's it. Alias yeah. finished in 2006. Uh, Kyle XY started in 2006. Uh, that 70s show finished in 2006. Power Rangers Mystic Force. There you go, Jeffro. That's that was 2006, uh, and that was pretty much it. Angers brought up um, Lost Room. Absolutely fantastic mini series. Uh, so I know he's a fan, and I'm a fan of it. And you know, I got a couple of little collectibles from it, and all the rest of it. So there was a few things that came out in that year. But uh, yeah, so a few people are obviously big fans of uh, Sky Captain. If you haven't seen it, you're not doing yourself a favor. Go and check it out. The first all digital. In fact, they, they digitized so much of it. In terms of not, it's all live action, but all the backgrounds are digitized. At one point, they ran out of time. They actually had to physically build one set. So uh, there you go. How how backwards is that compared to most other movies? Very good. And Colin said he attended his first Austrian meeting in two thousand and six. Dude, I attended my first meeting back in nineteen eighty five. Oh boy, <laughs> ahead of you. 
Anyway, oh, golly. So, uh, all right, so enjoy the rest of your weekend. Absolutely fantastic. As Jeffro mentioned, not next Wednesday, the Wednesday after. Talk nudie to me. We're back again next Wednesday's Boss Isley Monthly for all your Star Wars stuff. So there you go. Anyway, Friday night's been good, great, wonderful, but we've got to go out and visit people now. So uh, we'll leave you all to it. And remember, it's always important to stay nerdy. Stay okay. nerdy. Bye.